Did Sir Isaac Newton discover gravity or invent it? If the ancient pharaohs were so smart, why are they all dead? All of these questions you can find the answer to on This Paranormal Life. Welcome, oh. our humble followers, to the podcast. We are here with you right now on episode 70. Wow. This is the 70th episode of This Paranormal Life. I never thought I would live this long, to be honest. I know, right? Come back week after week, just spiting the truth like a broken faucet. I just, any of these episodes, I'm waiting for a full-on SWAT team to kick down my door and cuff my weak little wrists together. <laughs> Say you're under arrest for being too badass. And it's not for lack of trolls trying. People have tried to SWAT us on the daily, but the the authorities know that we're... <laughs> We're basically harmless and they won't even bother. They know it. Part of it is our fault. We stream on Twitch 24-7 uh, with the title, I f***ing dare you to swat us. And, uh, you know, it's becoming more of like a courtesy thing now. The gang show up and we're like, Steve, Chris, it's like another swat call. Yeah, I know. And he's Sorry like, about I, that. you know I have to pistol whip you. Of course. Of course. That's fine. And of course, you know I'm not taking down the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Rory. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. <laughs> From a man as badass as yourself. <laughs> Gives me a medal. <laughs> oh, wait. I think all this happened after I got pistol whipped. Oh. Yeah. I think it was I uh, hallucinated. That was a hallucination. Yeah. Okay. I call them whippy dreams. <laughs> <laughs> the good times after I've been pistol whipped in the back of the neck. Welcome to the podcast. Um, Hopefully you've listened before, or that might have been a little bit weird. But on this podcast, what we do is we take a brand new case beast story every week uh, that exists within the paranormal world and we will investigate it in an episode and at the end as professional paranormal investigators will come to a conclusion as to whether or not it is true i'm joined by my co-host kit greer Awooga. my name is roy powers and i hope you're ready to investigate a terrifying cryptid wow we're back with another cryptid we're back with another cryptid we, we took a little uh detour off the cryptid um you know straight and narrow for a while but we're right back on there exactly and this one comes courtesy of josh miller thank you who josh emailed into this paranormal life podcast at gmail.com and requested that we investigate this 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 paranormal ass <laughs> <laughs> the pistol whippings do affect the vocabulary, do affect the memory recall. So That'll I'll actually make a lot of a sense in a here. second. Yeah. Let's dive right in. Please. We begin our journey back in the 1950s in San Antonio. Where's that? Texas? Yes, nice. I believe so. It is, yes, you're right, Texas. Where there was a woman who we're going to call Margaret. Okay. Now, Margaret was a mother who enjoyed a simple lifestyle often enjoying the outdoors, mm -hmm. and every day she would walk her beloved donkey down the road to the fields near her home so the donkey could graze. Very wholesome, simple. Yeah. It's a simple life. Nothing it's like else. an advert for, like, biscuits or, <laughs> or something, you know? It's like walking the donkey, and it's like, do you remember the simple days down by the, the fields? And you're like, no, but I wish I did. Look exactly. this lifestyle. Will the biscuits give me this life? And you're <laughs> chomping down pack after pack, obese in your but, one uh -oh. bedroom apartment. <laughs> <laughs> the bigger and rounder, more biscuit like you get, the less chance you have of bringing that donkey to pasture. And then you wake up one morning and Eow! you're the donkey. Didn't see that one coming, you look did in you? the mirror and there's an <laughs> ass staring back at you. <laughs> so... One day she's walking the donkey down the path. It's a beautiful day. But all of a sudden, this man and his son walk up to her and they yell, Hey! That donkey is a menace. What? Margaret is confused, as are as you. As you would be. Right, yes. okay. It's a, it's a goddamn donkey. She's got no idea what's going on. It's just a donkey. The man says, Tell her, son. <laughs> your, your donkey is a menace. I was, we heard that already. <laughs> good, good boy. <laughs> I was by the fields yesterday and he bit me. Which may not sound like a serious thing, but I did a little research on donkeys. <laughs> and these little bastards are like chain chomps. Really? If they bite you, you will feel it. Not to mention they are sort of the rats of the farm <laughs> world. They're just harboring disease after disease after disease. Yeah. So you do not want to get within biting distance of one of these puppies. Absolutely not. Which is about 500 yards because they are <laughs> fast as well. Like a chain chomp. Exactly. But that still seems like a weird thing. Yeah. This is a this is a peaceful donkey. Do There's you know been... that? <laughs> yeah. 
peaceful donkey. His name's Chompy. <laughs> well, the kid, at this point, it's things are escalating. The kid is yelling. The dad is yelling. Hell, the donkey's getting spooked. Yeah. Because things are going crazy. And Margaret is like, okay, whoa, whoa, let's all calm down. Please. All right? Look, sir, your, your kid obviously is a little piece of dirt. My donkey is a chill donkey. He's a damn angel, actually. Chompy would never bite a soul. The dad is furious. Of course. But Margaret refuses to hand over the donkey. Yeah, I mean, what? so what What do they want to do in this instance? They want to take away the, the donkey to pasture, if you will? I guess it's similar to the current days of, like, a, if you're bitten by someone's dog, mm -hmm. don't you then have the legal right to decide whether the dog gets put down? It's like out of the control of the owner. Yeah, there's there's definitely a strike policy. It's not like it's not like a <laughs> the the dog nibbles you and then you have Egyptian god like you know hammer of justice over that dog. But if there's a couple of times, we oh uh oh he bites the postman one day. Uh oh, uh -oh he, he went he, for the jugular he, that time. He, oh jeez, <laughs> he got a finger here or there. <laughs> but Margaret refuses to give the man over the donkey, so they leave. Now, a few days later, Margaret is once again walking her beloved donkey down the fields for some lovely grassy snacks. They're walking down this lovely bridge to get to the fields, when suddenly, a group of men jump out from the bushes. What? This is very disproportionate. It's the father and son, and they've brought backup. <laughs> Another set of fathers and sons. It's a father-son <laughs> donkey bashing meetup. <laughs> An old-fashioned donkey bashing. <laughs> <laughs> These were the 1950s. There was, there was not freaking Fortnite. You didn't have your iPhones. You didn't have your social media profiles. And what you did have is a big old rock and a chompy donkey. That's my kill streak. <laughs> One. Well, the men jump out. Margaret tries to run away, but they grab the rope that she was leading the right. donkey with and yanked him backwards. The, the donkey is freaking the hell out. Yeah. Who wouldn't bite a man in this situation? They're pushing him. Hell, I've bit men for way less than this. That's right. Well, in the struggle for control, the donkey lost his footing and accidentally fell off of the bridge down into the river, Whoa. drowning almost immediately. <laughs> Why does someone drown immediately? <laughs> you just splash into the water and never, never resurface? Just, yeah. Just bloom. Yeah, I, like... I Gone, wouldn't... no bubbles. <laughs> Fades into the water. Margaret and the man all just leaning over the bridge and they're like, wow, that was actually really fast. Okay, all right, boys, job well done. <laughs> or do you think, like, the death was so epic that they knew it was the end? Mm. Like, it's a stumble and then he fell backwards and then into, like, the darkness of the night, he was like, Yo! Right, there's no You're coming right. back from that. You're not coming back. <laughs> there, You're not going to pop up with a another, carrot in your mouth. There's like, not another eon after that. <laughs> after that There's one. only one. After you've done that last epic eon. Well, the job was done. I guess. These men had officially become donkey murderers. But would that be the only murder that day? As the men walked away, the heartbroken Margaret picked up a large rock. Whoa. And threw it <gasps> as hard as she could towards the group hitting one of the men in the back of the head. Hell yeah. And rendering him unconscious. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, now the rest of the gang turn around. Right. There is a Ran lot of it, them. Margaret. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Threw her over the bridge. Oh, really? And she drowned immediately. Oh, Christ alive. Just like the beloved donkey. <laughs> With a... e <laughs> Falling like 200 feet to her death. <laughs> and everyone's like, she that ever was, made that noise before? That was weird, right? <laughs> like, I know she loved the donkey, but that's a weird thing for <laughs> for anyone to for make. Her dying words. For eon. Like, she had a family. She had a, <laughs> she had a husband and kids. Uh, so what are your thoughts so far? Tragic story, right? <laughs> Tragic and real. Is this the same biscuit ad? Is this the director's cut of the biscuit <laughs> ad? What are the biscuits called? Mm. Chompies. Oh, so close. <laughs> Pretty I good. like chompies. Chompies are good. Chompies. Because chompy sounds like the guy who makes the biscuits. So right. it's chompies. <gasps> hey, it's chompies. You know what this totally is, actually? Go on. This is a marshmallow included cereal. The, they're, they're called chompies. Okay. And this goddamn donkey called chompy is uh -huh. always trying to get a bowl of chompies right but anytime he shows up to get a bowl a group of vigilante men <laughs> <laughs> 
throw him over right. a bridge and kill him. Yeah. You'll never get a bowl of my, my chompies. And it's a river of chocolate cereal milk, presumably. Yeah. He still drowns, he drowns like, horrifically, oh, though. Yes. Even think like, faster somehow. The chocolate's thick. Think like, what? so it wouldn't be marshmallows, though. It would be like maybe carrot slices, whole wheat and carrot slices. Well, it has grass. to be the simple days of yore. So I don't know if they had marshmallows back then. Grass, maybe. <laughs> grass cereal fine <laughs> i mean let me explain why the goat wants some the donkey wait what <laughs> <laughs> yeah the greatest of all time donkey the donkey was the freaking goat <laughs> um it's a crazy story i'll admit it and i and hell i'll go on the line right now to tell you i got zero evidence to back it up <laughs> i know what's to come is so goddamn believable you don't need any evidence can All we you at, need is an ice cold bowl and chompies. Can we at least know that you didn't personally invent the story? Can I at least know that? I plead the fifth, sir. Well, I know what you're thinking, Kit. Double homicide. This, <laughs> this case is over. That's not how the law works. But maybe it's not over, Kit. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I never Shut said up! it was. <laughs> because through the years, people in the surrounding areas have reported strange sightings in the woods. Specifically near the bridge now known as donkey lady bridge donkey lady bridge that's what it's called donkey lady bridge in san antonio texas really here is just one of those testimonies one night in late 1987 while at my best friend's house four fellow companions showed up bored and looking for something to do we suggested they visit the donkey lady bridge (laughs) Is this person 13? This is not something grown adults do. Now, this loca- this location was only a short drive from the house, five or six miles, and it was a local favorite amongst late night stories. Okay. The friends agreed and soon were driving out of sight. About six hours later, their vehicle returned to our driveway with only one occupant. What? Assuming he had taken the girls home, okay. we went out anxious to greet him. What we found at the car is something I'll never forget. The windshield was busted, the front dented, and there was what appeared to be blood all over the hood. Okay, a car crash. Possibly. Right. Or, where did they go? They, I don't want to hold your hand too much on this one. But okay. Where did they take the... They went driving late they at went night. To, yeah. A bunch of they, people, maybe after a couple beers. Yep. Driving into the they, woods. Took, they took the car. Uh-huh. And where did I say? Where, where would, did they say it was popular with late night stories? Right. The bridge. The, and, the, and the name of the bridge? The one, the, the, the name of the bridge they, they went to in the car? I don't remember. Did you know? Yeah. What was the animal the lady had? That died in the river? Okay, it was the donkey. What? The don- donkey bridge! Lady donkey bridge! Right. After several minutes of consistent badgering, we finally got him to talk. He, Lisa, Terry, and Jill arrived at the bridge. They began to honk their horn, trying to summon the legendary donkey lady. <laughs> That's how you do it? Honking your horn? You'd think it would be like eawing or something. Right. But I think it's similar to the goat man, where if you just kind of piss about too long in the area that yeah. they... Yeah, you just stay. goad him. Exactly. Taunt them, WWE style. After about 15 minutes of not seeing anything, here we go. They decided to go into the woods. Of course. And look for themselves. What happened next was truly incredible. And if I hadn't known John all my life and seen that car, I would not have believed him. While walking in the woods, John said he got the feeling they were being watched. He immediately stopped and told everyone to be quiet. Looking around and evaluating the situation, he discovered what appeared to be two eyes staring at them off in the distance. Okay, okay. Could be any animal at this point. Could be man, beast, donkey. Could be could be any of the you know the main predators of the jungle yes lion donkey human any of them baby donkey baby donkey donkey. ass which is short for donkey donkey. jackass donkey again yeah um shrek's companion donkey a mule of sorts some sort of mule ass donkey these eyes seem to be reflecting the moonlight the girls panicked (laughs) And began to run back to the Which car. Which I don't think anyone's ever said about donkeys before, <laughs> that their eyes reflect the moonlight. Also, that's kind of a romantic thing to say. Yeah. You never were just like, we were in the woods and we saw these gorgeous hazel eyes <laughs> just staring back at me. I just, it was like two just infinity pools. I just couldn't stop <laughs> staring. Two beautifully symmetrical furry ears just 
caked in donkey shit. <laughs> a perfect row of symmetrical donkey teeth clamping down on my jugular. <laughs> the girls panicked and began to run back to the car. Ah! Ah! Good impression. Thank Thanks, you. man. John was quick to follow, and soon after he turned away, there was a horrible scream from the direction of the eyes. <laughs> he cried. Is that, what, is that what he said? Did he say the, uh, is that your artistic license? He was like, oh, I, it, it couldn't have been man or beast. It was like, <laughs> he, he described it as almost being a cry from an intelligent animal. <laughs> You imagine the the intelligent cry of the animal. You, you, you think it's going to be like a whale that kind of sounds human, but it's mm. just like, we're heading towards an economic bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Those who do not study history are doomed to repeat it. <laughs> the wisest donkey ever. <laughs> Too afraid to turn around. Scared of intellect, I guess. He picked up the pace as he ran to the car. When he got there, the girls were already in the car, screaming for him to get in and leave. <laughs> they were reversing as fast as they could. <laughs> as he was trying to find the keys, he heard what seemed to be the sounds of a horse running in their direction. Okay. Like a tiny little horse. Okay. Like a slow-ass right. horse. Starting the car, he slammed it into gear and put it to the floor. <laughs> this is a very dramatic retelling of this story. It really story. is. Suddenly, a figure appeared in the road in front of them. Too afraid to stop, John collided with the figure, hitting it, the, hitting it with the hood of the car, and it rolled over the roof. Whoa. Looking in his rearview mirror, he said he thought the figure stood up and continued to pursue them. After hearing this and seeing the condition of the car, Steve and I immediately felt this deserved a second look. John told us he would never return to that bridge again, but if we wanted to risk our lives, Go right ahead. Grabbing two flashlights Rude. and a pair of shotguns. We jumped in my pickup, grabbed an ice cold bowl of chompies, and made our <laughs> way to like the bridge. I feel like you added that bit in. No, it's sure. just, he actually, I just, we're not sponsored. Is there a sponsor we're not that sponsored. you're not telling I want to say we're not sponsored Fine. on this podcast, but obviously chompies is the most delicious bowl of cereal. And for the small price of $4.99, you can get them at any name. Real t real, uh, retailer, that's all I'm saying. F they're going to charge me. They're going to pay me less because I f up the yeah, you got to watch this week. Don't think I didn't notice, Sorry. but you got to watch. Yeah. And I feel like you're withholding sponsorship money from I'm not. Me. It's just, I'm just pissed because if we were sponsored, every time I say something wrong when I say the sponsor, they dock my pay. Right. Which, they do it's, because it's happening. I'm just saying hypothetically, if I okay. was talking about Chomsky, Chompies, f <laughs> the, the best bowl of cereal uh, in an, in town. Oh, I'm getting, I'm tripping up now. Um, sorry, just, I need to get this right. It's Dude, not sponsored. If you just tell it's me, not sponsored, I can edit I it. To, I can edit the episode me, to, so that you get it right. Just let me do, don't just let to... me say the phrase. I, look, I have it here. It's not sponsored, but I have to say this. This summer, enjoy an ice cold bowl of the- So the, clunky. F Holy I'm, I'm shit. The ice cold, ice Fine. cold bowl of the, the new and improved. Is it hot in here? Christ. I can feel the money just leaving my wallet. Wow. Chompies. Just now, hypothetical. Now still in, hypothetical. Now in, with even more grass. Really? Fresh it from the fields. Awful. No one's going to buy this. Do donkey ain't getting none of my chompies. <laughs> I need it. I need to text Kyle. Give me one second. Just Kyle. I f***ed it up Okay, again so Kyle this works week. at Chompies. Can I be... <laughs> again? <laughs> You've been doing this in previous episodes? I uh, edit in ads after we've done it. Yeah, super smart that I'm going to be editing this this week's episode. Sorry. And <clears throat> you think that if you just slip in a live read, that yeah. I'll just keep all of that in there. If you could tighten it up as well, because I felt okay. like it was a little loose on delivery. Okay. And as I said, I made that abundantly clear they dock my pay. And I'm really stressed <clears throat> this month. I feel like it should be our pay. All they pay me in as well is chompies. I'm going to level with you. I've got a fucking ton of chompies and I need to move units. I was uh, I was looking for deals and I may have swapped 95% stake in this podcast for 5% stake in chompies. An ambitious and inventive North Korean cereal brand that I really thought was going to take the market and it just isn't grabbing people. So, so anything we can do to move units again would be great. Cut this, please. Unfortunately, chompies is uh, Korean for poison. It's Korean for Lombardi. <laughs> We were actually scammed by a previous Lombardi buyer. He bought 12,000 units for $10 a bottle, and we bought 
ten thousand crates of chompies. We bought all, but we bought okay. all our Lombardi back. Is what I'm trying to tell you. How there's a foreign word for the name Lombardi, I have no idea. <laughs> but that's just where we are. So if we can just keep the ad in, because again, we need to move units. Apparently. Thank you. <clears throat> so they headed out into the woods with their shotguns. Yeah. And they turned on the many road lights that the truck had, okay. illuminating this bad boy. Okay. There's one thing the paranormal creatures don't like is light. Yeah. That's what God is. Okay. So they ain't gonna, they're not going to like that. Kind of weirdly poetic an opinion to have. Uh, <laughs> that really, threw, that me. really <laughs> threw you. Your own thought threw you hugely. These, these lights lit the road and the woods to every side of them as if it was daytime. I changed the tense and I need to change it back because I was telling it from their point of view and yeah. now I started telling it from a third person. Okay, so I'm going back it. to them. The first thing we noticed it's as the so bridge confusing. drew near. Yes was the numerous amounts of blood all over the road. What? However, these were the only signs of evidence that we could find. To this day, none of the four individuals involved in the story have returned to the bridge. Did John actually see and strike the donkey lady that night? Or was it merely a stray pony startled by their <laughs> presence? All I know is something was there that night and it scared our friends half to death. So I'm confused. So it's called Donkey Lady Bridge, as if that is one thing, a donkey lady, a goat man, like, like being a donkey lady. But yes. I heard no mention of any lady whatsoever. Are you saying that whenever they were both tossed over the bridge into the water below, that they both drowned and fused into I'm, a donkey lady? I'm really glad you brought that up, Kit, because Fine. there is a number of stories of the origin of this creature, mm -hmm. how it came to be. And you're not far off one of the most popular explanations, whether you want to be or not. The legend states that when Margaret and Chompy the donkey died, yeah. their spirits combined into one. Of course. And now they angrily roam the forest looking for vengeance. I don't know about you. I would be pissed off if I came back to life but I was half fused with a donkey. But that is that is the the origin. That of That is one of the ideas. Fine. Exactly. Could you imagine as well? You're you're this woman. You're thrown off of the bridge. You fall down into the cold water. Smack your head. The world around you is like is fading to a pinpoint, and then all of a sudden there's this like this glowing light. Yeah. And this figure in front of you. Finally. And you're, and you're like finally. Jesus. And it's like, no, it's me, the donkey. <laughs> What? I just talked to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he said, going back to earth, not allowed. Then I talked to the devil. <laughs> He's really on board with the situation. <laughs> Little con though, you, me together. <laughs> that would be the scariest thing in the world. It's, it, it's the, like the existential version of if you know, you're meeting your friends, you're going to a restaurant, you're running a little bit late and you get to the restaurant and they're like, hey, li listen, we're in a rush. We had to order for you. Is that all right? I just got you the regular, regular burger in your head. You're like, of course, God damn it. Of course, I don't want I had a burger yesterday. I wanted to try the goddamn special spaghetti that was on the menu. You're like, oh, shit, I don't have to sit through this crappy meal. I didn't even get to order the cosmic version of that <laughs> is your donkey dies before you. And, and he gets a good two minute, three minute head start of talking to God about right. how you guys want to spend the afterlife. So you turn up the, the goddamn white light of Jesus blaring. And, 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 and you know, you, as soon as you get there, you're like, oh my God, Jesus, it's so good to- No need! The donkey has spoken! Your wish is granted! <laughs> All of a sudden, the pearly gates start flying away from you. You're hurled back into the darkness. Wake up in the icy waters, half man, half donkey. No sooner do you see the pearly gates than you see a donkey and Jesus himself spitting into their hands and shaking on your fate. It doesn't bear thinking about, folks. Ugh. Awful. And that's why this is one of the most terrifying paranormal tales we've ever talked about right here in the podcast. Exactly. Well, as we said, John didn't actually see the donkey lady, but there are a number of descriptions of the creature from other sightings. Mm. Again, it's a wide scope. We've got some people saying it's more like a ghost, like a spirit. Okay. Others saying that she's a full living creature, half donkey, half human. 
similar to the Goat Man, and I guess the Wendigo as well. The Donkey Lady is said to have enormous strength, scary eyes, beastly screams, and a rage that haunts any who bother her to come into the vicinity. If you honk your horn near the bridge, or even chill for too long, she will appear and she will wreck you. It's a bit like a double negative. If you take two things that are ordinarily quite weak, a small donkey and an old lady, and combine them, they become supernaturally strong and exactly. terrifying. Now, similar to Bloody Mary, there's a number of different origin stories about the donkey lady. There's mm. the one that I just told you about being thrown into the river, but there's also more stories. One of the other popular ones is that she actually lost her children in a house fire that was started by her husband. Whoa. She was horribly disfigured in the fire, fusing her fingers and toes together. What? Cre creating hoof-like hands. Oh, jeez. Oh, like a so donkey. she never had a donkey? No, in this story, she just became a donkey-looking wow. woman. Yeah. Please. Her head was so badly burned in the fire that it healed in such a warped, elongated way it resembled that of a donkey. Oh, f off. <laughs> Now, I investigated this case, and I desperately searched for any kind of evidence. As you know, this is the 1950s. People didn't Not that keep, long ago. People didn't keep track of this stuff. No, I'm sure they did. Hitting a donkey woman with a car was just like, you know, the newspaper boy accidentally smacking you with the back of the paper. It's just one of those everyday things. You're like, why am I going to take a... Why am I going to take a DNA sample from the newspaper boy? I'm not going to do that. Why am I going to take a DNA sample from the blood of the donkey lady? It just wasn't a thing. Is any of this helping? Fine. Well, I searched and I searched and unfortunately could not find any photographic evidence, mm -hmm. could not find any DNA evidence, okay. and could Convenient. couldn't find any strong testimonies. Really to feel go like by. they had testimonies back in the 50s, they as did. well as photographs. <laughs> They, they had all of these things. And I feel like there was a number of witnesses, according to this story. You're skeptical, but wait till the bomb I'm about to drop on you right now. I found on the comment section of a website, doesn't get much more trustworthy than that, <laughs> a woman named Mandy Guerrera. Okay. She commented saying, I found a phone... I'm not should do a woman's voice, actually, because her name's Mandy. I found a phone number off the internet several years back that was supposedly the donkey ladies. A phone number? <laughs> the donkey lady whose hands are fused together has a phone? That was one of many stories. She could also be a half donkey, half lady with human hands. And a phone? It was on a website with many other Texas haunted sites. So I called it, and when they picked up the phone, it sounded like a squealing pig getting slaughtered. <laughs> so I hung up. And I, <laughs> so, so I hung up and I called back. And when I heard it again, it sounded even more pissed off. <laughs> it was so crazy. How could it sound more pissed off than a pig getting slaughtered? Holy shit. If that's your like level five of annoyance. Yeah. What is what's worse your than ten? That? No human could have made that insane squealing noise. Also, it was not a recording because it was slightly different the second time. Uh, the second time I called back, but in a creepier way. I like to think that this is some young person pranking people by listing this phone number online. And whenever they just see an unknown number call, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just taking a call here, but bear with me one second. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sorry, sir. I'm, oh. just, I'm just calling to interest if. Did you apply for a PPI service in the last I am so in the last two years? I'm so sorry, my pig got uh my pig died uh just in front of the phone. We were time to call and why did you answer? Yeah. Sorry, you We weren't close. I know I'm supposed to be the uh the telephone salesman, but I just want to clarify something. You saw unknown number on your phone yeah. uh, as your pig was dying. And you took the call. Let's just get I'm very busy. Let's get this over with. I'm no longer interested in filing your claim. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh have a good life. I regret that. Uh, my condolences to the pig. Uh, please do not harm any other pigs by the time. There's another one. Oh, Sir, please stop harming out. the pigs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm also confused by the existence of a cryptid phone number. <laughs> well, it... where do we go from here? Does the Bigfoot have a pager? Does the Chupacabra have a Skype address? This sounds unbelievable, and that's why I first put this in my research notes, because I was like, this is ridiculous. Okay. Then some people started replying to Mandy and being like, oh my god, I had the exact same phone number. 
like I used to call it all the time with my friends. This happened a number of times until it got to the point where I just Googled donkey lady phone number. Okay. And there was numbers and numbers of times on the internet where allegedly there was at one point a phone number you could call. It was set up to be like, you're t- you're, this is the donkey lady's phone <laughs> number, but it was just horrible squealing on the other end. 0800, it was an 0800 number. Yeah. 0800 donkey lady, <laughs> you call it. It's like, <clears throat> press one to talk to the donkey. Press two to speak to the lady. Now, I know you're not going to be excited about this part, but that's all the evidence I have <laughs> on the case of the Is donkey that lady. you heard that the donkey lady had a phone number? Look, do you want me to try and find it right now? Yeah. Oh, shit. You called my bluff. Well done, sir. <laughs> my phone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to call the first number I can find. Because we know someone out there in the paranormal nation is psycho enough to try this. So you might as well do it for them. Exactly. Uh, Just while having a quick break here when I'm checking my phone, I just want to uh, remind you that in stores from August onwards, the uh, new flavors of Rainbow uh, Chompies uh, can be found on the... uh, shelves of of all the the shopping stores you're a stores skilled in, in the in orator the malls. this is your job to present i don't Sorry. know why you fall apart when it's for chumpies uh it's make, not it's not a lot of pressure it's a north korean cereal firm make every adventure a day it, that make, can't be their slogan make, it doesn't make any sense make every adventure a day you're That's making it up chumpies by now for the limited, there's no way the you're price. given that much artistic license in new box of chumpies now now toys i'm really getting stressed out here buy chomp Peas. Buy them. Buy chompies. That's what was taking you so long. <laughs> North Korea's finest. Every adventure's a day. Chompies. Buy now. Toys inside. Every Sorry. adventure's a day. <laughs> um, okay. Here we go. Reliable source. Really? Yeah, who answers? Oh, what is nice. the donkey lady's phone number? All right. I can't believe this is a thing. Donkey lady's phone number. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's try this. It's been sent to a website. Shrinky.im. That does not sound. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, someone's posted it here. I'm going to a website. It's porn. It's donkey porn. <laughs> There's not even a lady involved. <laughs> it's just donkey, donkey on, on donkey. donkey action. Jesus. It appears even with extensive internet searching, yeah. I cannot find the even actual with number. Extensive listed. one-handed iPhone Google searching. Uh, we couldn't quite come across that number, unfortunately. Yeah, but. You know what? <clears throat> call out to our, our listeners here. If you can find that number, we will call it live on the pod. We'll get to the bottom of this case. Unfortunately, we're going to have to make our conclusion without hearing from the donkey lady herself. But you know what? Sometimes in the paranormal world, you got to come to a conclusion a little bit early. It happens to one in three men, and there's no shame in it. So, Kit, what do you think about this case? This is bananas. This is one of the uh, least substantiated claims i've ever heard in the paranormal world of course so crazy there's, it must be true right? there seems to be almost no consensus over what even happened cool, cool cool whether the donkey existed whether it was a woman that looked like a donkey i mean the fact that i can't even prove there was a donkey is pretty bad that seems like that shouldn't be a hard thing to prove yeah okay cool yeah i can see where this is going uh the, yeah i feel like that shit. it may just <laughs> You asked me a question, so I'm just answering yeah, it. Yeah, I just so want to tell you how no I need feel. to take it so personally. Let's get this over with, because I know what you're going to say, so it's fine. I don't know why you take it so Four personally. Four hours I spent Wait. looking at donkey pics, and I couldn't even prove this ass is real. How do you think that makes me feel? The only jackass I can prove that exists is me <laughs> for investigating this pile of garbage. And I'm not even sure I'm real. How about <laughs> that? Like I say, there's not a lot to go on here. I'm sure a lady existed. I'm sure a donkey existed. I'm sure ladies and donkeys have um, died in bridges all over Texas and further afield. Do I believe that some people who hit something with their truck in the woods and cause it to bleed means that there is a paranormal donkey woman haunting San... What was it? San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas. Uh, No. No, I don't believe that. I mean, they hit something at donkey lady bridge right i don't want to put words you in your mouth but really yes. hone in a- <laughs> <laughs> just because it's called donkey lady bridge doesn't mean that it's paranormal i mean the bridge probably didn't have a name before that that's true what do you think of this case 
it's an interesting one. I mean, this testimony isn't even from a newspaper. It's from an online source. Yes. And I think the, the lack of information, at least credible information regarding this case, would lead me to believe that, unfortunately, it is no more than folklore. But it's an interesting story. And, you know, we've had lots of half-beast, half-man cases before. It's true. We've never had half-beast, half-lady that's true. And I thought this would be a good one to throw in the mix. Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, not real. No. Which continues our string of no's on the podcast. I don't think there's been a half cryptid, half human story that's real yet. No, but we're hunting for them. Yeah. We believe it's all For the there. stories and the beasts themselves. Um, and hopefully we'll get to it very, very soon. Thank you so much for that submission. Josh Miller, if you have your own submission that you want us to investigate, why not email in to this paranormal life podcast at gmail.com. If you want to hit us up on the social media networks, we are on Twitter at this paralife and on Facebook we have our secret society where big ass brain humans can come together and talk about the paranormal world, what we're going to do in the commune best bowl best flavor of chompies available currently that will change because obviously i said in the uh from august forward we have brand new rainbow chompies toy inside every adventure is a day by chompies three plugs at this point for absolutely no didn't money. stutter that time so i'm getting the full check for that one okay oh but wait i'm not getting the check because i didn't i didn't mention where you could buy them Fuck. okay it's fine i'll just say that line and then the, i thought the we were promoting over. Um, the Facebook Secret Society. I just gotta do the tell them where they can get it, and we're done. Okay, literally two words. Fine. Ev- all the st- stuttering. <laughs> Fuck. Over the the store, store the stores. name of the store you can ev- get it from. Ev- all them stores. All. all them, ev- what am I saying? All them stores. What is that? We gotta wrap this up. We gotta wrap this up. I'm losing. I'm losing pennies. Your phone by the is second. blowing up. Jesus. I can see that. Gee, notification after notification. Just one. Keith. Yeah, Jesus I f- it Christ. again, Keith. I <laughs> said all the them pod. stores again. I know. I, you said. I know. It was the one thing you said not to say. How are you on such speaking terms with this casual Keith? He did me a solid. Is he North Korean? And I did him a liquid. Uh oh. Sorry, Keith. I, I, yeah, I did. I really messed it up. North Korean. Yeah. And his name's Keith? Yeah, that's his alias. His English, poor. (laughs) Business, poor. I can hear him yelling. I can hear him squealing like a donkey. (laughs) Um, So thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you really enjoy the show and want to give that little extra bit, we have the This Paranormal Life Patreon, where, you know, we don't run ads on this show, obviously. Not one single ad was read out on this show. Not true. We make all of our money... Not from North Korea, but from the Patreon, where from as little as $2 a month, we can give you a whole bunch of bonus stuff, including all the research notes that go into these episodes, bonus episodes, t-shirts, Lombardi, Polaroids. There's so much stuff that you can get while supporting the podcast. We really appreciate it. It's uh, kind of a cool community, I think, to be part of this kind of like commune Commune. of people um, that are all together. So we'll get together. We're really excited about it. Um, so definitely check that out if you're interested and if you do contribute to the patreon we like to give you a special shout out at the end of the episode so here we go thank you to carissa b buzz buzz thanks for the honey carissa b we really appreciate it in the paranormal beehive so thank you for your support where of course um we are the queens of the hive double queens and everyone else is a um worker slave uh that is just how communes operate but i don't know why you said slave you could have just said worker b it's much more nice it fits with the tone yeah i just want to make sure that everyone knows who the queen is and who the slaves right don't say slaves that's a bad word thank you to jay ronan jay i know you've been roaming roaming around for a community but Look, you found your new family. It's right here. Damn right. In the paranormal commune. Now place your hand on this DVD box set of the X-Files and swear allegiance to the paranormal commune. Welcome aboard, brother. Give us your coins. Day one, tax day. <laughs> Welcome to the cult, baby. 
step in through this uh, small pyramid for the initiation hazing. Tax day. <laughs> day A one. day of tax. <laughs> Thank you to Chris Warns. Chris, we did warn you about tax day, and you still decided to come to the commune. Come on down. We operate like Hogwarts. Uh, you know how they have a sorting hat? They kind of put you in, in your groups. We have a sorting tinfoil hat mm. that you put on and it blocks all interference and just uh, tells you which dorm to go to. We, you put on that tinfoil hat. We try as hard as we can using all technology uh, at our disposal to scramble your brain. If you survive that, faculty's intact. Welcome in, brother. Thank you too. Richard Hicks. Richard, welcome to the commune, buddy. We appreciate you supporting the This Paranormal Life Patreon, but we hope you saved a couple coins for tax day, day one. I know we've never mentioned it up until now, but we really need to ramp up the awareness of tax day. Yeah, because a lot of people are doing a 180 at the doors. <laughs> so we need to uh, let everyone know about tax day. And obviously it's all going back into the commune. It doesn't go to me and Kit. Hell no. No, it goes into the system. Yeah, the system may include um, clothes, nice things for Executive us, bonuses. But, but other than that. Other than that, it all goes back into the system. So who knows? You might see a penny of your fortune come right back to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, too. Chelsea Mao. Did you know that uh, Chelsea was actually one of the first female medics that was allowed to serve on the front line in World War II. Really? Yeah, she was also the first one to defect immediately upon first gunshot with me. So old. So proud of having served in such an old war. I wouldn't say we served. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Matt Harmon. Matt Harmon. Who you Harmon, Matt? Better not be anyone in the paranormal commune because we got all the guns from tax day. Uh, we actually know Matt from uh, back in the day when I was laying low after my seventh uh, defect back in Northern Ireland. We became friends. For a short time before I defected from the friendship. <laughs> Thank you to Rye Sanderson. Rye, Rye, Mr. Sanderson guy. Thank you for the Patreon money, I appear you can lie. And those chompies taste so good in my eyes. Singing, now there's toys in the box side. By the chompies, time is alive. I couldn't even do the this song. Plug. I couldn't even do this Unbelievable. song. Unbelievable. It's so hard. It's so hard to say. Even the bit where people are paying us so that we don't have to run ads. You're turning that into an ad. I don't know if I'm even going to get paid for that the way it was delivered. So I think it's safe to so say getting... that wasn't an ad. Thank you to Jake Gimbel. Jake, I wouldn't want to gamble on breakfast. Why not have a nice cold bowl of chompies? The bowl that, so, that you always know is going to be delicious. So so buy, buy some. Buy some now. Thank you for the, the thank you for contributing to the Patreon. I hope you're enjoying the most delicious, important meal of the day. That's great. Chomp peace. Awesome read. Thanks, Thanks man. Jake. Thanks. I feel like I really yeah. got it that time. And I feel like Jake really feels um, appreciated uh, with that shout out. I think he really feels like special. Yeah. Because so. I mean, like he he enjoyed the show. He wanted to contribute and support it. He wanted to give some of his hard earned money yeah. to the show. Yeah. And this Quite was right. the reward was the shout out that he gets on the show. So yeah. I'm glad that what he got that, was an ad for Chompies. I wouldn't I bet call he feels that an ad. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you too. <laughs> Lastly, but not leastly. Right, I'll be better this time. David Ollinger. Eat chompies, David. <laughs> Your hand. Eat them now. <sighs> it's around my throat, Eat please. Eat the chompies, <laughs> David. We need to move chompies. <laughs> please, guys. <laughs> Donate more so that, <laughs> that Rory lets me <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Quick. Kit's breathing. That's the new hundred dollar tier. Every contributor <gasps> also gets a free bowl of chompies. The bowl is not included though. More of a burlap sack of grass and milk. It's the best damn cereal you'll ever have. I think chompies. we're done here. Okay, okay, sure. Just wanted to Thanks get that in there. Thank you so much. Yeah. In. 
Do you want me to end it? Because you, yeah. you're you getting lazy or something. You can't breathe or something. What, what's going on? This is abuse. Thank you for listening to the show. We'll be back next week with a brand new paranormal case. Bye-bye. <laughs>